Hmm, I got all this money, whatever should I do with it? I'm kind of hungry, I can get some food. I could take my girl out. Nah, Pokemon YOLO packs, baby! What's up YouTube, Jordan here and welcome back to our weekly YOLO pack series guys. Today I have another Generations Elite Trainer Box to open for y'all. Now you guys might be wondering, hey Jordan, why are you not at the store? You usually always start out your YOLO packs episodes like that. Well, the reason for that is I went to the Target the other day to pick this bad boy up and I kind of forgot something a little bit important when it comes to uh, video making. Could you guys guess what that is? Bingo! That's right, my camera. I did not bring my camera when I went to the Target, so I could not record the intro. And I ended up deciding to just pick this up and go ahead and decide to explain it to you guys this way. You know, and beg for your forgiveness that I didn't do my usual intro at the store. But to make it up to you guys, I want to show you my table that I used to record on. And I'm going to show you what I did with it, actually. I did something pretty cool. So here's my playmat, my Yu-Gi-Oh! vs. Pokemon playmat that... You know, you guys seem to really, really like and enjoy because it's a great artwork. It really, really is. Uh, but yeah, I actually turned this table into my own personal boom geek table. So yeah, guys, let me show you some of the stuff that is on this table. We got some sleeves here. There's our generation sleeves. We're about to add to this stack right here. Got Pokemon Adventures, the first three books here. We got a 3DS with capture card ready to go for Pokemon Sun and Moon. Battle Royale videos. I love vinyl figures, so I usually take them out of the box, but that Fallout box right there was too good to open up, so I had to keep that sealed. Got a Snorlax plush here, a cool looking VHS tape right there, and I told you guys that I freaking love the design to those champion tins, so I had to make them a part of my room somehow. And there you go, we got Gyarados with a Blastoise figure on top, two water types. Got Gengar with the Venusaur figure. I like green and purple contrasts nicely. And then we got Machamp and Charizard, similar coloring on the tin and, and the figure. So I was like, you know what? That looks freaking good. We're going to leave it like that. So yeah, there's all that. And then we also have these three cards here, which actually represent three different things that I love in Pokemon. We got the Lucky Egg for Pokemon Go. We got the Shiny Magikarp to show my love for shiny Pokemon. And we got the Ancient Mew to show my love for the Pokemon movies. All right, guys, let's go ahead and get into our YOLO for the week. I feel like this is definitely another true YOLO because I think many of you guys know these Generations Elite Trainer Boxes, they are definitely not cheap. So yeah, this is definitely another true YOLO for a fact. Um, let's go ahead and see if it can pay off, man. Uh, my last Elite Trainer Box for Generations was not the best, to say the least. In fact, I thought it was the worst. Um, just based on other openings that I had seen of them. So yeah, let's hope that this could be the Redeem Box. I called my Steam Siege Elite Trainer Box the second time around the Redeem Box. So we're going to do that again with the Generations ETB. Uh, but yeah, guys, we got the awesome Pokemon 20 logo right there. Here's our little Pokemon 20 Generations booklet. I actually really like the designs of all this stuff. It's really, really cool. Uh, but yeah, I, I definitely consider Generations not to be like an X and Y set, but definitely similar to how I'm going to look at uh, Evolutions, which is just a 20th anniversary set. So if you think about it, you really actually got like two 20th anniversary sets, which is pretty crazy uh, to think about. But yeah, guys, this time around you get the Generations Energies, which is definitely a lot better than just getting regular Energies, so pretty cool. Um, we got our Shaman EX promo again. What number is this? We got XY 148, okay. Very lovable looking card right there, I love it. We'll set that in the back and hopefully it can give us some good luck. And the really good part about the Generations Elite Trainer Boxes, guys, is you actually get 10 booster packs. Um, usually you get 8 in an Elite Trainer Box, but the Generations ones came with 10. That's really sick, so almost a third of a booster box right there. Um, we got our sleeves right here that I just showed you, so we're going to add those to the back here. Ah, just toss them back there. Let me set this to a side and we will get into the packs. Alright guys, we have all our cards back here to give us some good luck and let's see if the YOLO can pay off once again. Let's see what pack cards we got. We got one Blastoise, one Charizard, one Venusaur, another Venusaur, Pikachu, our second Blastoise, second Pikachu, third Blastoise, and third Venusaur. So we actually only got one Charizard pack. So I'm going to actually save that for last. We'll do Pikachu packs first, then we'll do Venusaur, Blastoise, and end off with Charizard. We'll do it that way. So, all right, Pikachu, start us off with some thunder here. Oh, baby. Let's see what we can do. All right, pack number one, folks. Let's get into it. 
If we can get a Jolteon EX, that would be a great way to start out. But here we go. We got a Wobbuffet. We got Golbat. Max Revive. Electric Energy. Doduo. Cuddly looking thing right there. We got Shelter. A Metal Energy. We got a Reverse Paris. This is a very nice artwork. I love these Generations unique artworks. I've said that before, but they look nice, man. I love these Gen 1 artworks. So we got that. We've got, ooh, that's how you start off an ETB right there. Mega Gardevoir EX Full Art. Very nice. It's a great way to start. And we got a Jinx, which would be a Pokemon I definitely want to catch in Pokemon Go. I've, I've actually seen it on my nearby list, uh, but haven't been able to actually capture it. But yeah, let's go ahead and get into Pikachu pack number two, and then we'll get into Venusaur after that. So last Pikachu pack magic. Hmm. Let us see right here. Let us see. Um, so yeah, we got our usual trick. Three to the front. Thank God they didn't make that confusing for the folks like me who get confused easily by these card tricks here. Especially when they change it up on us. I mean, can't do that to me now. Anyway, we got Mr. Mime, Crushing Hammer, Tangela, got Zubat, Geodude, a Darkness Energy. Ooh, the Reverse Carp. Oh, baby. Can I trade that in for some Carp candy? I wish. Anyway, we got Slurpuff having a pile of pancakes there, and we got a Doug Trio. So definitely not a great pack there. Nothing really too good out of our Radiant Collection, nor our re regular rare there, so not too great. Let's move on to our first Venusaur pack. Okay, here we go. We've got a Fletchling, Pokemon Center Lady, Evo Soda, Water Energy, Magikarp again, Ponyta, Machop, we got a Reversed Graveler, we've got a Wally, and our other rare is, oh, we got the Articuno Full Art, wow, I was not expecting that actually, oh my god, whoo-hoo, baby, that's what I'm talking about, the Articuno Full Art. That's definitely what I get for talking smack on Team Mystic before, so yeah, they're going to give me Articuno instead of Zapdos, but actually, I kind of like the Articuno card a little bit better than the Zapdos. It's, the very, it's very nice coloring to it, man. It's, it's awesome. So yeah, this is already, to be honest with you, better than my other Generations ETB. But let's see if we can get things even better here. I mean, that's only pack number three. We still got seven to go, so let's see what we can do here. Maybe you could have one of the best ones after getting one of the worst. How nice would that be? Anyway, we got Charmander, Haunter, Cloyster, Slowpoke, Magmar. Wow, check that artwork out. About to do a Fire Punch, it looks like. Ghastly, Fire Energy. We got a Reverse Clefairy. Nice artwork. And Meowstic. And, uh, Parasect, damn, I thought I saw something back there that time. It's crazy, every time I think I see something, I don't have anything. My mind plays tricks on me when I do these openings, I'm telling you. But yeah, guys, this is the last Venusaur pack art here. So let's see what we can do out of this. Here we go. We got a Floral Crown card that I really had a lot of fun with in the TCG Online. So there's that. We got Red card. Always reminds me of soccer, so funny. Got Pokeball, or Football if you're from another country. Uh, we got Krabby, Caterpie, Meowth looking very thirsty, Rhyhorn, a Shelter Reverse. Ooh, we got a Pikachu Full Art now from our Radiant Col Collection card. Oh man, that is nice. Oh my god, and we got a Jolteon EX. No way, exactly what I wanted. Holy crap, what a pack and what an elite trainer box. Wow. Wow, we went from the worst to the best, man. Just like that. That is what I'm talking about. Shoo. These pulls, guys. Holy crap. We still have how many packs? All right, four. I thought we were only halfway done. I was like, what's going on here? This is great. Let's move on to our first Blastoise pack. I mean, you gotta assume that we're gonna get more, which is hard to believe, but there's four more packs of Generations. You hardly ever go four packs of Generations without getting anything. But wow, this is just one of the best Elite Trainer boxes I've opened. Anyway, we got Pokeball, Pokemon Fan Club, Rhyhorn, Zubat, Ponyta, Diglett. It looks like he's in New York City to me. 
I don't know if that's just me, but it looks like a little New York City type building back there. I go to New York all the time, so it kind of just reminds me of Central Park, this car. Anyways, uh, we got a Shauna Reverse, a Jirachi from Radiant Collection, and I doubt we're going to get anything here. Oh, we actually got a Butterfree Hollow. Very nice. With Quiver Dance and Gust. I love this holographic card. This one and the Golem are by far my two favorites from the set. The Butterfree just looks so peaceful and the Golem just looks so the opposite. So just ready to rumble. Rock and rumble. Because it's a Golem. You get it? <laughs> Alright, anyway. Bad Pokemon jokes out of the way. We're on to Blastoise pack number two. Let's see what we can do. Bars? No? Anyway, we got Goldpin, Double Colorless Energy, Golbat, Water Energy, Gasly, Krabby, got an Electric Energy, Pokeball Reverse, oh my god, a Sylveon EX Full Art. Oh my god, this is just crazy. And we got a Pinsir Rare. Wow. Wow, 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 and wow. <laughs> this is just blowing my mind. Imagine we got like another Jolteon or something too, then this would literally be the best Generations ETB ever. Oh, I'm so happy I picked this one because <laughs> there was like a pile of like seven at Target. I was just like, oh man, which one to take? And I definitely picked up the right one. So anyway, we got Charmander, Metapod, Maintenance, Geodude, Tangela, Magikarp, Metal Energy, Reverse Double Colorless Energy, Diancie from Radiant Collection, and a Tauros Rare. Yeah, I was like, gotta assume there's gonna be nothing out of that pack. Anyway, last pack, last chance for some magic. We got a Charizard pack, the only Charizard pack in the Elite Trainer Box, so maybe that means we're getting something out of it. I mean, whether we do or don't, this has been just amazing, but let's see what we can do. We got a Snow Runt, Clefable, Cloyster, Slowpoke, Machop, Paris, a fire energy, oh, reverse psychic energy, that looks freaking nice. Really dope looking card right there. You got a flow it for our radiant collection card. And we've got a Gyarados to finish things off. So yeah, I was like, I, I figured we were gonna cool off after all of this madness. Look at everything on this table, guys. From one generation ZTB, that is sick. That is just sick stuff right there. But yeah, guys, if my Elite Trainer Boxes have taught you anything, it should be that if at first you don't succeed, try and try again. That's a very famous quote. It's definitely true because two times now I got a really bad Elite Trainer Box, then got a second one, and got an amazing Elite Trainer Box. So yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Definitely stay tuned for a lot more. I still have my giveaway going with Leon Hart and Super Duper Danny, which ends September 3rd, so definitely check that out if you have not. Please give the video a big thumbs up. It really is a big help. And also, if you're new around here, definitely consider subscribing. All right, guys, love you all. Jordan, out. All right, guys, real quick, I actually messed up. There was actually one more Charizard pack art in the box. I can't believe I didn't see this thing in there when I was taking all the packs out. But yeah, there's actually one more pack. So we actually have another chance for last pack magic. I'm not going to do the trick for this pack. Just to save time, there will be no webcam. You know, I'm just kind of going to go right into this. I can't believe I missed a freaking pack. That's insane. But yeah, guys, we have a Caterpie, a Shelter here. We got a Revitalizer, Reverse, an Altaria, and a Rapidash. Yeah, I honestly cannot believe I missed a pack back there. That's nuts. That's probably, like, actually the third time I've done that on YouTube. I really got to be more careful when I'm taking my packs out. But yeah, guys... Love you all, Jordan. Out.